I'm Ashley Skeven. It's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use SkyDrive for your Windows 7 PC. Now, Microsoft makes a cloud service available to you. It's called SkyDrive. And if you're not familiar with what SkyDrive is, it's very similar to a lot of the cloud services that you've seen before, like Dropbox. Now, SkyDrive is run by Microsoft, so it's very stable, and it's a great way for you to keep track of and access all of your files and folders that you'd like to get a hold of, whether you're on the go, using a different device, or if you're just a Mac and PC user and you'd like to be able to access specific files on both computers without taking up double the hard drive space. Let's take a look. In your browser, you're going to head to apps.live.com slash SkyDrive. Now from here, you'll get an overview of what Microsoft SkyDrive is, and you'll get some information on what you'll be able to install it on. Now today, we'll be installing it on a Windows 7 laptop. So you can see right here, there is a download button. So we are going to click download. And once we do, we'll get our SkyDrive setup.exe to start downloading. And when it's finished, all we have to do is click on SkyDrive setup.exe to open the installation. And you'll see it's installing SkyDrive now. We have our progress bar zooming up. So it's a very quick installation, which is really nice. And it'll show you, you can use the cloud to access your important files, whether it's on your desktop computer, a laptop, or your mobile device. So let's click on Get Started. At this point, you'll be asked to log in with your Windows Live ID. If you don't have a Windows Live ID, you can sign up and you can actually use an email address like a Gmail account to sign up for Windows Live ID. So if you don't like having multiple accounts in multiple places, you can actually sign up for Windows Live ID with a different email address that isn't at Microsoft or at live.com. Once we've logged in, you can see introducing your SkyDrive folder. So it'll tell you where your SkyDrive folder is here at the bottom of the screen. It'll say your SkyDrive folder is here. And for me, it's at users slash HP slash SkyDrive. So you can change that if you'd like by clicking on the change button, but I'm okay with it. So I'm going to click on next. Now we can say or tell SkyDrive if we would like to fetch files from this computer for our SkyDrive and other devices to access. Uh, I'm not really comfortable with that because I want to make sure that anything here that I'd like to keep secure is still secure. So we're going to uncheck make files on this PC available to me on my other devices. So let's click on done. And once we finish that, it will automatically open our SkyDrive folder. So here's our pictures folder. And I'd like to add some of our beautiful images that we get by default with our wonderful Windows 7 laptop. So here's some sample pictures that we have available to us. I'm going to go ahead and choose all of them and I'm going to copy them. And then I'm going to go into my SkyDrive, which you can now see in your left hand sidebar navigation for Explorer. So you can see here it is right here. There's little blue clouds and it says SkyDrive. Let's go into our pictures folder and let's click on paste. Now that you've pasted your pictures in here, you can see that each one of them has a very small icon with two arrows chasing each other. And that means that your pictures are syncing. And once they're done syncing, you'll see something similar to these two folders right here that I'm looking at, public and documents. And you can see now we've got all of our pictures synced. There they are. All of us green check marks across the board. We are ready to go. And once again, if you're interested in seeing all of your SkyDrive files from the internet, you can do that in a browser by navigating to skydrive.com. That's it for Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content, and we'll see you next time.